Hey guys, Ingus, and this is my unboxing and also a full review of the Arctic Liquid Freezer 120. So this is really, really uh, exciting uh, because I've been running off a standard uh, CPU cooler uh, for quite a while, uh, probably about three to four years. Um, I have actually changed uh, fan coolers as well. Um, so this is the first time that I'm using liquid cooling uh, and I'm just really, really looking forward to it uh, simply because um, I've had uh, rubbish fans over the years and I've always wondered why I haven't actually upgraded and for once I decided to go uh, for something really really good and I specifically went for something uh, that was going to be quiet. Um, so uh, Arctic uh, sort of claims to be one of the quietest out of all of them compared to all of the other standard uh, sort of liquid coolers you can get. Uh, starting off with the unboxing, uh, we actually have uh, the accessories. Um, so we actually have uh, both AMD and Intel sockets uh, for the CPU, which is really good. So we don't have to have uh, separate ones, we can have one or the other. Uh, that does, of course, increase uh, sort of wastage, but it's nice to know that there's both and that we don't have to worry about messing around with that. Uh, so yeah, I'm using a studio box and uh, I'm using it to actually sort of make the lighting a little bit better and also a little bit clearer as well. So as you would have noticed already, the CPU block and also the radiator are actually connected. So you don't need to worry about messing around with that. So here are the two CPU fans and these aren't actually that necessary because of course you might already have CPU fans and in fact you probably already do. So these might not be necessary at all, but it's actually helpful to know that Arctic provides them as well. So many of you will be actually installing this to reduce the sound of your fan. And to give you an idea, this is what it sounds like before I installed liquid cooling. And this is what it sounds like after installing liquid cooling. So as you heard from the two videos there, installing liquid cooling actually makes a huge difference. And I really, really like this because uh, I do loads of recording every single day and for me I really really prefer having a quiet PC and to be honest I actually wish that I installed liquid cooling earlier. So one thing I actually really didn't like about this is the instructions and the main problem I had is that it wasn't able to adapt to different cases. So although I actually had or I thought I had a large case, um, it actually didn't fit. And it actually meant that I had to take off the entire front of my PC and sort of move it around. The idea was that I put uh, the radiator on the back, but as you can see, it's just not going to fit because um, the the size of the CPU uh, sort of block um, is too big. Um, so I actually spent absolutely ages, as you can see in this time lapse that I made, that it just won't fit. So I sort of spent ages sort of messing around. And I got confused and stressed. So my advice is actually that you plan it and what what I would suggest is that before you actually install it um, just get an idea um, so try and pretend to put it in or maybe just put a couple of bolts in and then sort of move it around and see if it can fit because it might be that you spend ages trying to install it and actually it won't fit at all. So what I had to do in this situation is that I actually had to improvise um, and I was a bit worried because I'd never done it before, so I opened the front of my PC and actually found there was a load of space. And of course, I had to unplug my hard drive and SSD, and uh, I just spent absolutely ages moving around, which is a bit annoying because it wasn't made very clear in the instructions, uh, you know, what to do if it doesn't fit. So what I'm going to do now is actually go through the process of actually how to install the water cooling. Uh, it's a little bit long, uh, but again, uh, maybe it should help you if you need to do it. Okay, so what I've actually done is uh, I've... I actually screwed this in, uh, uh, temporary, um, and I've put that in, that's not actually, well, it's, I've put two bolts in, um, sorry, it's not very well lit, um, and I've got my GPU there, but I have taken out my RAM, um, and actually I've taken off uh, the top bit, well not taken it off, but had a look, I've actually taken off the entire front panel, because I just want to have a look at it, look at it. and this is an old fan, so I think that I'm going to switch this out, uh, and possibly put the radiator over here, if... Uh, the, the, the the cable is the wire is long enough um, so yeah that's what I'm, I'm doing at the moment um, I'm not entirely sure if it's if it's gonna work or not it's just sort of seeing if it will uh, work if it doesn't anyway I will uh, replace this fan okay so after some like evaluation what I found is that 
it nicely comes to the front here, which is the radiator, I believe. And I've taken this off, uh, and then I'm going to move it up. And then what I'm going to have is I'm going to have this on the inside. That's going to push back. Uh, and then possibly uh, another fan as well. But I'll, I'll, I'll just see how it goes firstly, because then that'll be two fans. And that will work really well. Okay, so this is actually uh, the, the final plan that I'm going to do. Uh, so I've got uh, the front panel. And I've, what, what I've done is I've got uh, the two parts. So I've got, uh, I believe, the radiator uh, and then the fan. You can't really see it because it's on the inside, but I've screwed it. Uh, and then I've got the second fan at the back. So actually this replaced uh, what was there originally, and it was a, just another fan. Um, and then all I need to do is clip these together. Uh, so I'm going to take this out, uh, and then what I'm going to do is put the paste on, and then put it back, and then try and boot the PC up and see how it's gone from there. Okay, so I've been messing around with it for about half an hour and I finally realized what was the problem. I was looking back at the instructions over and over again because when I tried to put uh, the uh, the actual call itself uh, onto it, it just wasn't fitting. So I kept on looking at it and it's basically because the instructions aren't very clear. When you look back at the, uh, it, the instructions, uh, you need to make sure that the back plate is in the right position. My back plate is uh, actually in the wrong position. Um, so if you look at mine, you can't see any like holes. Uh, so actually, if we go round, uh, you can see that the back plate is the wrong way round. Uh, so actually, I really hope that this might help people. Uh, it might be that your back plate already was in the right place, but basically mine wasn't, and that is why it was not working. Uh, so now I'm going to switch it back, um, and hopefully that it'll it'll work again. Okay, so I uh, I think I've done, and now I'm going to uh, actually try and power it on. So my GPU, uh, GPU fan is working fine. Uh, everything else is working pretty well. So the only real noise is actually coming from uh, my power supply. Uh, this is virtually silent, makes no difference, and that seems to be working as well. So uh, I'll kit it up and see how it goes. So after using this liquid cooler for more than a month, I think overall I am really happy with it but the actual installation process wasn't actually that easy at all and I wasn't really happy with it because the instructions weren't clear and also I got really really stressed. This probably took me about three hours to do because I was moving so many components around and I was changing so many things and adapting to it and sort of improvising and yeah it, it got me worried and at one point I thought I'd mess up my computer and it just it, it wasn't a very pleasant process and I wish the instructions were more clear. See, most of the time, the temperature of my PC actually seems fine, and I'd probably get an average of around 16C to actually 20C. But the weird thing is, as soon as I run very basic uh, sort of programs like, say, Ice Cream Recorder, which is a really basic screen recorder, um, the temperatures just rise dramatically, and it can even sort of peak up to uh, 76C, which is really hot. So, I, you know... I find it difficult to really sort of tell if it does get really hot or if it doesn't. But generally it seems that the temperature seems fine and to be honest the temperature of my PC isn't really a concern. If it ever is getting too hot then maybe but generally the time I'm not concerned about the heat, more about the sound. So the importance of the CPU temperature and even the temperature of all the components in the PC uh, will actually differ to other people. Uh, of course for people that want to uh, game in 4K and people that want to overclock their GPU. So overall, I think the Arctic Cooler is a good liquid cooler and a good option for your PC, especially since it's so quiet compared to CPU fans. But again, it's really your decision, and maybe you want to look at benchmarks as well uh, for CPU temperatures, whether you want to get this or not. So there's my four of you. I really hope you did uh, actually enjoy it uh, and find my setup helpful, and thanks very much for watching.